So I have a very dramatic title, uh, Secrets of Quadratus Lumborum Muscle Revealed. You'd think it belonged on the cover of the Enquirer, but no, it's just a little anatomy lesson, folks. So I love the quadratus lumborum muscle. It's kind of a cool muscle, but it's the odd, odd, most oddly named muscle out there from my experience. Why? Quadratus lumborum implies that it should be a quadrate shape, bink, 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 or some slippy version of that. But what I find literally hundreds and hundreds of times, I think I've only seen it otherwise, three times in my recollection of hundreds of cadavers. The quadratus lumborum muscle is actually kind of triangular in its shape. So the quadratus lumborum muscle fibers anchor along here on the inside of the lip of the ilium, the iliac crest here, and right along with the iliolumbar ligament. So it's here, and then the fibers run over to the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae here, and then ultimately all the way up to the 12th rib. Now, here's where things get drawn funny. I've seen this drawing so many times, maybe you have too. And they draw the quadratus lumborum muscle fibers coming way out on the 12th rib. Well, they don't come way out on the 12th rib. Maybe they come one third of the way out or maybe one half of the way out. And so consequently, the shape of the quadratus lumborum is triangular. So there's secret number one. It's a misnamed muscle, and I think that Frank Netter and all the other champions of anatomical medical illustration managed to pick the few examples where the muscle shape is actually quadrate, and I haven't seen that. But it's much more rare. So secret number one, quadratus lumborum is really triangularis lumborum. Secret number two, because of this misinformation about the, the location of the quadratus lumborum on the 12th rib, many people think the quadratus lumborum comes out to the tip of the 12th rib and blame it for all sorts of problems, like pulling the 12th rib down into the pelvis. So look at my arm. If you wanted to make this go down, would you pull here? You could pull here all day long and my arm isn't going to go down. You want to pull out at the tip if you want to make my arm go down at the fingertips, right? Well, similarly, if you want to make the 12th rib pull down or the 11th rib pull down, you're going to have to do it with the abdominal musculature, mainly the internal and the external oblique. Now those muscle tissues actually do yank on the, yank on the tips of the ribs here uh, in, their, in their transit across here in various different fiber directions. And so what we do find if we're in a side-lying position and you're working here, you're not working quadratus lumborum most likely, you're working the external obliques now uh, or, or even the internal obliques. But the Quadratus lumborum muscle is, is deeper in and further in along the iliac crest and actually overlying the transverse processes in such a way that it barely comes out uh, to get a reach on things. So I'd like to basically say secret number two is it's not the quadratus lumborum's fault that the 12th rib is being pulled down. That's an issue having to do with the uh, oblique musculature of the abdomen, which really does wrap all the way around to the back. Um, secret number three, transversus abdominis, uh, which is one of the several layers of the abdominal musculature, the one coming in this way, basically contributes fascia and invests the uh, quadratus lumborum. So even though the fibers are going this way, it peters out, the muscle fibers peter out, and it turns into fascia here. And that fascia then proceeds to expand and invest the quadratus lumborum. So some anatomists would basically say that quadratus lumborum is really abdominal musculature at its furthest extent, uh, rather than say a back muscle. But it is in the back, so I don't really care what you call it, but just so long as you understand some of the organizational principles uh, around that. So secret number one, this quadrate muscle is triangular. Secret number two, it's not its fault that the 12th rib is being pulled down. And secret number three, it's invested in fascia that's in relationship with the abdomen, so we might as well call it abdominal musculature. So a few details about the quadratus lumborum 
to uh, take home and think about while you're putting your hands on people's bodies, especially, and thinking, huh, what have I really got here in my hands? Is this quadratus lumborum, or am I working with something else? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.